Welcome to step 2 of the Getting Started with Zen Server video series. The previous video showed us how to download and install Zen Server. In this step of the series, we'll be launching Zen Server. To launch Zen Server, open your browser and enter the following URL. The Launch Zen Server Wizard is opened. The first dialog of the wizard is the License Agreement dialog. And all you have to do here is read Zen Server's End User License Agreement, select the checkbox below, and click Next. In the next dialog, you can select which settings you would like to launch Zen Server with. Selecting Development launches Zen Server with server and PHP settings optimized for a development environment, including an enabled Z Ray. Production launches Zen Server with settings optimized for a production environment. The third option launches Zen Server with server and PHP settings optimized for a clustered production environment and connects to a MySQL server. I'm going to launch Zen Server optimized for development. In the next dialog, enter the passwords for accessing the Zen Server UI. First, for the admin user role, and then for the developer user role which is usually more important in a production environment. Passwords can be changed and managed later on, but you'll do well to remember what you entered here to save you the hassle. Clicking Next, Zen Server installs the built-in PHP libraries, Zen Framework 1, Zen Framework 2 and Symfony. Finally, we get a summary of our launch settings. And all we have to do now is hit the Launch button and Zen Server is launched. Congrats, you've successfully launched Zen Server. You've got 30 days to play around with the Zen Server Enterprise Edition, at the end of which you'll have to register Zen Server on the license page. What now? Check out the next step in the series to learn how to run a simple Hello World script on Zen Server.